Lovely as a tree is one of the most famous lines in American poetry. In 1913, Joyce Kilmer wrote of the beauty of trees and the impossibility of mankind to create a work of art that could ever be its equivalent. But ABC 10 News anchor Kimberly Hunt shows us how innovation and collaboration are creating beauty from trees that will last for centuries to come. Trees don't live forever, but two San Diego based powerhouse companies have joined forces to give them a second life. New life that not only retains their beauty, but in guitar speak gives them rich shimmer. They're basically mulched and thrown out. So why not put them to use? Bob Taylor, the co-founder of Taylor Guitars, is describing the Urban Wood Initiative that began three years ago between Taylor Guitars and West Coast Arborists to give trees another purpose at the end of their natural life. Immortality, really, you know. Uh, guitars don't get thrown away very easily. They can last for, as long as that tree grew, that guitar can last 100 years, 200 years. 300 years if they're taken care of. The trees are removed in a special way, then the pieces are cut, dried, and worked into beautiful musical instruments. To make a consumer product that you could buy anywhere, at any time around the world, made from urban trees haven't been done. You know, the first thought should be right tree, right place, but maybe the last thought is afterlife. John Mahoney heads up the program at West Coast Arborists, which they've dubbed the Street Tree Revival. And his love of the idea of giving trees immortality is nothing short of evangelistic. That's just getting me excited just walking right here. Look at it. This red iron bark eucalyptus is one of two species of trees here in San Diego currently being used by Taylor to make guitars. This one's going to be here a while. That's right. Keep on growing. It's got beautiful tone. It's very compliant. The second type of tree being used is the chamel ash. This one's iron bark. Iron. This one is ash on the backs. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. And you really darken it because it's a lighter wood. Yeah, if you look inside the guitar, you see that it's light colored. You know, the urban forest is as big as the natural forest. From their offices in San Diego, West Coast Arborists use their technology to see, track, and document 10 million trees in the county from the time they were planted to each time they were trimmed. So this is like the magic in the, in the magic sauce. Having good data is, is key. The tree's value is also logged. The trees are valued at $70 million. Give me some. Oh, <laughs> that is great. That's awesome. Here's all final assembly. You see, I mean, in this factory, we're making a couple hundred guitars a day. To date, Taylor has produced tens of thousands of guitars from San Diego's urban forest. Trees which came to the end of their life, but their beauty and usefulness live on. Love that story. That was our anchor, Kimberly Hunt. Now, there is hope this model will spread to other urban wood programs. And Bob Taylor says maybe even someday we'll be able to shop for trees based on what you like them to become generations later when they naturally come to the end of life.